Well, Nicole, we learned that investigators have been called to this home before, and Megan Short previously told police that she was afraid of her husband, and now is seen by a growing memorial outside of the family's home. An entire community is now mourning this family's loss. Megan and Mark Short were having some domestic marital problems, and they were in the process of separation. Berks County District Attorney John Adams believes that may have led to a grisly scene on August 6th when he says Mark Short shot his wife Megan, their three children, and the family dog before turning the gun on himself. Mark Short purchased a 38 caliber five shot revolver handgun and a stock of ammunition. On the dining room table, they found a handwritten note. It's an admission that he purchased the gun and committed the homicides. Investigators say the weeks leading up to the slayings are telling. It starts on July 18th when Sinking Spring Police responded to a domestic dispute at the Short Home. The Sinking Spring Police Department did at that time advise Megan Short how to get a protection from abuse order, uh, but she chose not to. The following day, authorities say Mark Short legally bought a gun and rounds from a shop in Lancaster County. A few weeks later, another hurdle. Mark Short was demoted at his place of employment on August 1st. Then just a day before pulling the trigger, Mark Short took his three children to Hershey Park. The following morning, Megan had planned to move into a Yardley apartment, investigators say, but instead... Five empty 38 caliber casings were found in the basement family room in close proximity to the stock of ammunition. Now, the conf coroner confirmed that all five family members died of a single gunshot wound each. And now the question is, if investigators knew about domestic disputes at this home, did they do enough? We have the district attorney's response coming up at 6. But for now, live in Sinking Spring, Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.